Hello everyone and welcome to SE Geek, the internet's most passionate software engineering show. I'm your host, the Software Engineering Geek, and today I'm going to be talking about Grails 2.x versus 3.0. So this is just going to be a quick video talking about uh, the different versions and where you maybe where you should start. Uh, you know, just some contrast between the two. Um, so the current version that just came out is 3.0 but in my opinion I wouldn't jump on this because it's really new and it was kind of just forced out really quickly uh, mainly due to Pivotal stopping the funding from uh, Groovy and Grails and basically having the communities now move off onto uh, alternate uh, off onto foundations and alternate means of uh, sponsorship uh, both of the uh, communities, which I, I've stated uh, in pre a previous video, like, is Groovy dead? No, duh. Uh, that they're not going anywhere. They're open source. They have people behind them. Uh, so they will continue on. We don't know all the specifics yet on the Grails community, but it will continue on. But because of this, Grails 3 was pushed out a lot quicker than I think it was originally intended. Originally, I was hearing that Grails 3 wasn't coming till like late uh, fall of this year, which was is uh, 2015. Uh, and that's what I heard from all the tops at the conference when I went to the 2014 uh, Spring 1-2 GX. So, um, Grails 3 has come out. Uh, it looks really good. It's, you know, most of it is pretty much there, I'd say. Like, you know, they're going to be working through bugs, uh, things that didn't make it into the 3.0 version because it is a rewrite uh, on top of Spring Boot. Uh, and Spring Boot is a project which was actually bore out of uh, Grails from uh, from being in Pivotal. So uh, a lot of the ideas from Grails were pulled into Spring Boot. So what this means from Grails 3 is there's a lot of features that they won't have to maintain anymore because they'll be maintained under Spring Boot. So this gives Grails a lot more freedom to uh, do more interesting things on top of the framework so it and it makes it so they don't have to deal so much with a lot of the underlying as much um, but the consequence of grails coming out so quickly uh, you know my uh, opinion is what's lacking right now which is going to you know this is going to be changing rapidly over the next several months is uh, the state of plugins. Most of the plugins haven't been migrated from uh, 2x to 3.0. So this is you know going to be part of the community, uh, you know, just kicking things into gear and getting you know these plugins over uh, migrated over. Some of these plugins will never get migrated over uh, just because of the nature of the you know community-based projects is some plugins some of the plugins here were put up as just you know things of their time and they might not be valid anymore uh, some of them you know the maintainer may have may not be maintaining it anymore you know that's one of the things you get with like you know open source projects like this now the main uh, plugins should be you know ported over uh, I know that uh, the Spring Security plugins, BERT will be porting those over. Uh, as to timeline, unknown. Uh, and I know a lot of the core plugins that are just part of Grails when you download it, all those obviously have been already ported over. Um, but a lot of the community driven ones, that'll take some time. So, like I would say, within several months, Grails 3 is going to be the place to be. But if you're starting a Grails project right now, you might want to start with Grails 2. Um, and migrating from Grails 2 to 3, you might want to wait a little while. But I would say that you should definitely download and play with Grails 3 and see what some of the differences are. Because the anatomy of Grails 3 is slightly different because of uh, conventions that get pulled from Spring Boot. Uh, just where things are, 
uh, like I, I know the configuration is a little bit different but you can have the same configuration as you did before uh, like I know in uh, Grails 3 you have YAML uh, for your configuration rather than a Groovy file uh, but you can still use uh, the Groovy in place of YAML so you know that is still something you can use it's just the default has changed I think that is mainly because I think Spring Boot uses YAML by default um, but anyways so that's where you know this sits right now uh, Grails 3 is definitely the future uh, one of the things uh, another thing that has come because of Spring Boot is uh, it's Gradle based so rather than Gantt which Gantt was uh, you know, it was this uh, project which essentially is a groovy DSL on Ant, uh, which is a lot better than using just plain Ant. But uh, you know, it, it's it's not very. It, it's at this point, it's not as maintained. There isn't as much of a community, or you know, as much documentation as Gradle, which has just exploded in many communities and is become like the default build tool for a lot of different projects. So th that's one thing that uh, you know Grails 3 brings to the table is uh, Gradle and the fact that Spring Boot, uh, since uh, it's a lot lighter weight than uh, what Grails was, uh, a lot of things are you know just compilation time and uh, just getting it up and running is a lot quicker than it was uh, in the 2x line. So th those are some of the things that are coming and that's why I say it's the future, it's where things are going, but it might not be the best place to start with, especially if you're starting with Grails right at this moment. In a few months this video will become completely obsolete, but that is the way it is. So take that for what it's worth and happy Grails.